Okay, everyone. Given Q, we're going to find the order of Q and then find Q cubed. So basically, the order is given by the number of elements here. Your least common multiple. So this is 3, 5, and 2. So we want the least common multiple of 3, 5, and 2, which equals 30. So A, the order is 30. Now, for um, Q3, what you want to do is, let's write this out the long way. So, um, write Q out as 1 maps to 3. Now, let's write 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. All right. So, 1 maps to 3. 3 maps to 7, 7 maps back to 1. All right, then if we um, write it again, what we, the, what we really want to do is do it 3 times, but let's just write it out the first time. So basically, 2 maps to 4, 4 maps to 6, 6 maps to 8, 8 maps to 10, and um, 10 maps back to 2. 5 goes to 9, and 9 goes to 5. Now, so that's just written out. So now we, what we want to do is cube this. So what that means is we're going to map 3 times. So I'm going to write this out as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So I'm going to map 3 times. So here we go. 1 goes to 3, 3 goes to 7, 7 goes to 1. So what goes here is 1. Alright. 2 maps to 4, 4 maps to 6, 6 maps to 8. You see, I did that 3 times. Alright. 3 maps to 7. 7 maps to 1. 1 maps to 3. Alright. 4 maps to 6. 6 maps to 8. 8 maps to 10. Alright. For 5... 5 maps to 9, 9 maps to 5, 5 maps back to 9, 6 maps to 8, 8 to 10, 10 to 2, so 6 goes to 2, 7 goes to 1, 1 goes to 3, 3 goes to 7, 8 goes to 10, 10 goes to 2, 2 goes to 4, and then finally we have um, 9 goes to 5, 5 goes to 9, 9 goes back to 5, 10 goes to 2, 2 goes to 4, 4 goes to 6. So this is uh, what it would be. This is what Q3 would be. Alright, now we're going to write it down in uh, cyclic notation. And so I'm going to copy this again. We had... Um, 1, 1, 2, 8, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And then for our second row, we had 1, 8, 3, 10, 9, 2, 7, 4, 5, 6. So now writing in a cyclic notation, we're going to write 1 goes to 1, and 1 goes to 1, so that's closed. Alright, secondly, 2 goes to 8, and 8 goes to 4. So 2 goes to 8, 8 goes to 4, and 4 goes um, to 10. 10 goes to 6. Then let's start the next one. 3 goes to 3 and 3 goes to 3. 
and uh, let's look at what do we have left we have everything seven goes to seven and then let's look at five five goes to nine and nine goes back to five so there's how you would write this in cyclic notation for that and they probably prefer you to write it this way thank you have a nice day bye bye <laughs>